welcome students today we are going to study about loops so do you know about vending machines yes. do you know about ice cream vending machine yes so this is what a ice cream vending machine looks like in this ice cream vending machine if you want to get one ice cream you have to pay 10 rupees okay you just insert 10 rupees in this vending machine then you will get one ice cream then if you put 100 rupees in this vending machine then how many ice cream do you get you will get 10 ice creams so what actually happens here the computer inside the vending machines counts from 1 to 10 okay so what the concept of loop loop means repeating a block of codes in a known number of ways okay so today we are going to study about the main four loops okay in c one of the most important loop is four loop. so we can start first we will Start with the header file. First, we will include the header file. Then, we will write the main function. After that, we will start the code. We will initialize, we will declare the counter. Then, we will write the for loop. Within the for loop, we will initialize the counter. Then, we will check the counter condition. Then, we will get the output okay then we will get one ice cream by doing one loop we will get one ice cream then what the computer do the computer will increment the counter value by one so it reached to two so the computer will again check the condition whether it is less than or equal to 10. So, in the case of 2, it's true. So, you will get one more ice cream. Then what the computer do? It will increment the value by 1. So, you will get, so the computer will get 3. Then again the computer check the condition whether it is less than or equal to 10. So, that's true. So, you will get one more ice cream. Likewise, you will get 10 ice creams. Okay. You will get 10 ice cream within this loop. So, that is the concept of for loop. Thanks for listening. Bye.